I mentioned in a previous video concerning my W113 280SL that I had to replace the master cylinder for the brake system. And I didn't elaborate, I, I forgot to elaborate why, because some of you may have th thought, well, why did you do that? Or what was the problem you were having with the master cylinder? In fact, I was having no problem with the master cylinder. The brakes were working fine when I did the initial test drives on this car. And so, but I, I want to I explain something really important. The master, these master cylinders, I hardly ever see them get replaced as a preventative measure, okay? They always get replaced after they fail. And this is something that can really leave you stranded. There's a couple of things that on these old Mercedes that can leave you stranded. One of them is the master cylinder. If you have a manual transmission, the clutch or slave cylinder can leave you stranded. And if you have a fuel injected engine, the electric fuel pump can leave you stranded. And those are, those are three things that I always see get neglected, they never get worked on from a preventative uh, standpoint, and they just fail and leave you stranded, okay? So I don't want to ha have that happen with happier air. I want to be able to get out and enjoy this car and drive it and not oh, get somewhere and suddenly my brake pedal goes to the floor. So I'm going to show you the master cylinder that I removed and talk a little bit about some of the problems and why it's a good idea to change these before they actually fail. To understand some of the problems that can occur inside a brake master cylinder like this one, and this has to do with any old car, this isn't just Mercedes Benz, but you have to understand the nature of brake fluid. Brake fluid is alcohol based, it's not petroleum based, it's very susceptible to moisture absorption. It will absorb moisture right out of the air. And so over time, you can have moisture form inside the master cylinder, even if you flush the brakes. Now the best preventative here to, to uh, give long life to your master cylinder is to replace the brake fluid every two years, which very, very few people do. But what will happen is you'll start to get rust inside here and also deteriorate the seals. You can see, if you look real close, you can see the rust forming down in here. You can see the gunk. You can see actually see some of the rubber deterioration right in here. And of course, looking into the threaded holes for the, for the brake lines, you can see the rust forming. So what happens as these cars age, they get driven less and less, and the maintenance uh, dims, I should say, and the brake fluid does not get changed. And you can't believe how many old Mercedes from the 60s and 70s that I see, like this one here, that still has this original master cylinder on them. So what, what's going to eventually happen is a rust form that starts to wear the seals inside and eventually the pressure will weaken and, the, and, and worst case, the pedal just goes right to the floor. I've had these, believe it or not, here's a safety issue. I've had a couple of these fail or seen them fail where the valves inside will lock up and a friend of mine had his rear brake calipers actually lock up on him while driving on the freeway. They overheated and caused extensive damage because the master cylinder failed. It was, it was not the calipers that froze up. It was something happened inside this master cylinder that was preventing the release of pressure back to his rear brake. So this isn't something you want to fool around with. It's a safety issue. And fortunately, these are still relatively inexpensive, and that's the other reason why I'd recommend you change them now. Change them now on your old Mercedes while you can still get these for a reasonable cost. Because as the, as the years go by, these go out of production, they're going to get very, very expensive. So I'm, I'm going to encourage you, you know, if you have a Mercedes that's older than 30 years and you suspect that the brake master cylinder has not been changed, then I highly, highly recommend you do that and prevent a lot of problems down the road. There's another thing I forgot to mention about the master cylinder that can cause problems, and that's actually out, outside the cylinder itself, but it's located right here. And this is a seal right here. I'm gonna pop this one out. This is the O-ring seal that seals the master cylinder up against the booster. 
So when this seal fails, you will leak pressure out of your or vacuum, out of your booster, and your brakes will feel very hard. And you might think that you need a new brake booster, and you don't. I can't believe how many people probably bought new brake boosters. They're very expensive to only find out it's this seal right here. We carry these seals on my website. Anytime you have the master cylinder off, you should replace the seal. And of course, the new master cylinders come with new seals. So by replacing the master cylinder, you eliminate the problem right here of potential leaks coming out of your booster. If you decide your older Mercedes uh, master cylinder needs replacing, we do have resources on my website that can help you. This is something you can do yourself with some understanding of how to install it and bleed it properly because the master cylinders have to be bled once they are installed. And of course, you're gonna to need to bleed the entire brake system, flush it out. And while you're doing this, I, I can't stress this enough. If you're going to replace the master cylinder and you have no history on your car when the flexible brake hoses most cars have two in the front and two in the back. Some have two in the front and one in the back, but you want to replace those rubber brake hoses because they deteriorate on the inside. They'll actually, they'll actually rot out internally and start working like a check valve. So that's another reason that your brake calipers can be grabbing and, and sticking, and that causes excessive pad wear, scoring of your brake rotors, poor brake performance, and so on. So when you get into the the master cylinder, don't just stop there. Think about, okay, now's the time to replace the hoses because you're gonna to have to flush the whole system out. And we can help you do that. We have, we have uh, all kinds of hoses available. We have special tanks for bleeding. We have uh, manuals. I have a manual on the older Mercedes brake system that'll walk you through replacing the components and replacing the master cylinder. So feel free to visit my website. I'll put links in the show more description below and then I just want to encourage you, you know, take care of your brakes. This is very important.